to his holy and righteous name we say hallelujah glory glory to god for there is nobody greater and we confess that with our mouth because we believe it in our heart that there is nobody greater than god is that your confession on today that there is nothing bigger than the god who you serve the one and true only living god throughout this world this universe in the earth and the heavens he is the self 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 existence one the creator of mankind the creator of the heavens and the earth oh yes Nobody is greater than him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And so, with that in mind, people of God, we want to welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Each and every last one of you to the kingdom international intercession and word of empowerment broadcast. I am your founder, host, apostle, Deron Shay Zorn with Divine Order Restoration Ministries International, where we are restoring the order of God, one life, one body, one nation at a time. And it is an honor and a privilege to be in God's presence with each and every last one of you. We are blessing God in this place as we are in a 42-day international spiritual growth campaign hallelujah and we're encountering the divine alignment in the name of jesus that we will travel on the king's highway with every step being firm every step assured in the truth of god's word in the majestic name of jesus where we are no longer stumbling no longer falling no longer hindered my god hallelujah my god in this word of truth in the name of jesus where he is exposing and uncovering it all and purging and cleansing and giving instructions and edifying and empowering my god in the name of jesus so we just bless the lord there is no one greater yes father there is no one greater than you hallelujah and we proclaim it throughout the earth oh abba father hallelujah we thank you for just dwelling in the midst of us as our hearts reach heaven with thanksgiving hallelujah glory to god and praises oh my god in the name of jesus that will cause you oh god to come and dine with us in the majestic name of jesus hallelujah glory 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 to his righteous and holy name, dynamic people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. At this time, oh, we just bless the Lord in this place. Because, yes, hallelujah, there is no one greater. We've searched all over. Just couldn't find nobody. I couldn't find nobody. Hallelujah. Couldn't find nothing. Amen. That could sustain me. That could satisfy me. That filled all the very essence of my soul. Oh, nobody but Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The sustainer. The sustainer of life. Oh, we bless his name in this place. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he's doing it. He's done it. Is he's done it for you? He's done it for me, Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, glory be 
unto God in this place. Amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory to God in this place. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Oh, gracious God, we reverence you in this place. We magnify you, God. Hallelujah. Throughout the earth, in the name of Jesus. Today, as we stand in the gap for your children around the world, throughout the nations, and we thank you. Hallelujah. We come humbly before your throne as little children, but we stand. Oh God, boldly and courageously against the other lies, the father of confusion, according to the very authority and power that you've given unto us, almighty King, in the majestic name of Jesus. Oh gracious God, hallelujah. Oh gracious Lord, let all the earth fear you. Let all the inhabitants of this world stand in awe of who you are. O oh, fountain of life, injured of a days, open up the understanding of mankind so that we may know who you are, and that we may embrace you, O oh Father, everything about you in the name of Jesus that father as the opening of our understanding as our understanding oh God is um, enlarged in your word in who you are almighty king let us receive truth the truth of your word so that we may truly value who you are and what you mean, oh God, throughout the world of your value, oh God, unto the life of mankind. That we, oh God, would love you with an everlasting love. Because you first loved us in the name of Jesus. Teach us your ways, oh Lord. That we may walk in your truth. Hallelujah. Unite our hearts to fear your holy name. My God. That we will not be wise in our own eyes. But that we would fear you, Lord. And turn away from evil. As the fear of you leads to life. As the fear of you leads to life. And, O oh God, whoever has it rest, there is rest for their soul. There is satisfaction, O oh God, unto them. They are filled, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And that, O oh God, that they come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That they are restrained from judgment almighty king out because of their fear they have for you your mercy is poured upon those who fear you from generation to generation oh hallelujah oh help us in this place that we may fear you, O oh God. That we may fear you and you alone, Almighty God. So that we, so that we, O oh God, that we would follow your commands, your statutes, and your decrees in the majestic 
name of Jesus. The fear of the Lord, my God. Hallelujah. The fear of you, Lord. Keep your people, my God, um, from lack as those that reverence your holy name. God, you supply the richness, your richness unto them. This earth that is the fullness of yours. And you lack absolutely nothing. Let every nation fear you, O oh God. That we would do what is right by you. In you alone, as we know the beginning of wisdom. The fear of you is the beginning of wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let wisdom reign in our lives. Let it outpour in our lives, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, so that it may be known that we reverence you, almighty King, and you alone, O Holy One of Israel, in this place, in the majestic name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, that mankind shall serve you, shall serve you with fear. Hallelujah. And rejoicing with trembling, O oh God. Not that we are afraid, but that you are so holy that we reverence you and esteem you, O oh God, to the highest. Almighty King, in the name of Jesus, that our fear is out of reverence and not out of of dread, O oh God, but fear of you is out of honor, hey God, for who you are, not for what you will do, but for honor of who you are, a oh, holy God, hey Gorabashaya, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For continuously moving in our lives. Almighty King, strong and mighty. So that, Lord God, that your name may be great in the earth. And so that, O oh Lord God, the earth nation shall reverence you. Just like, O oh God, as you moved on the behalf of the Israelites. And Lord God, you defeated the Egyptians on their behalf. And you defeated, O oh God, the various kingdoms that came up against them. You opened up the Red Sea and even the Jordan River on their behalf. You provided, oh God, their food, their substance, water, everything that they need. And that as the nations saw you move on the behalf of your people, that fear gripped their heart of you, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The fear gripped them. And in the midst of the fear gripping them, oh God, that they come into a reverence of who you are. And that they would be drawn unto you, almighty King, in the name of Jesus. As they stand in awe of you. 
in all of your power, in all of your goodness, in all of your local robasaya, in all of your faithfulness. Oh Lord, hallelujah, in all, oh God of your unconditional love and all, oh God, in who you are, mighty, strong, faithful to do everything that you have spoken about your beloved, almighty King, have your way in this place, in the land of the living. Hallelujah, that we may reverence you, O oh God, and be obedient children. Obedient children, amen, in the name of Jesus. My God, have your way. Have your way. In our lives. Have your way. In our lives oh God. That we. May reference you. As your eyes is before. Those who fear you. On those who hope. In your stead. Bad. Love. In the majestic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. It is in the majestic name of Jesus. That we have prayed. Glory be unto God. In this place. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. Glory to God. My God. Bless God in this place for his word of truth. Amen. As it is written in, um, in, in, in our text for today. As we're dealing with. Or we are study this in this session is hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. That our study for this session, amen, is out of the book of Hebrews, hallelujah, chapter 3 and chapter 4, amen, in the majestic name. Of Jesus to, to this morning people of God I, I'm gonna talk with us amen about the importance of the fear of God amen in the name of Jesus the importance of the fear of God Hallelujah. We are living in a time and in a day where there is little to no fear of God in the hearts of the people in the world. It is evident um, due to the behavior of mankind. When we can kill people with no remorse my god that is an indicator that we do not fear the lord when we can live any way other than under the standards by the standards of god that is an indicator that we do not fear the Lord, my God, help us in this place, Almighty King. Uh, when we can dwell, amen, 
and operate in the patterns of the world. It's an indicator that we don't fear God when we sin against him, when we rebel and disobey him. There is a lack of fear within us as it comes to our Holy Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, as I deal with this fear today, I'm just going to advise some people. I'm going to advise you up front. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Um, It's not a time to be in your emotions. Hallelujah. As we get into the truth of God's word. Amen. As we deal with, amen, society as it stands. So it may rough some feathers. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But that's okay. I'm okay with that this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because I understand the importance of fear. Amen. Of fearing God and God alone. It said, fearing God and God alone. That is the only fear that we, that mankind should have. That's the only fear that is permissible in our lives. And and we're going to talk about it, my God, as we're living in a society that reverence the world, reverence man, reverence my God, my God, my God, that reverence, reverence, reverence the things of this world greater than we reverence God, my God. And and we're going to talk about it today. Amen. Glory to God, because we got to deal with truth. If we're going to be free people of God, we have to deal with the truth of God's word. We got to deal with the truth of the reality that is taking place throughout society and even in our own lives. My God, in the name of Jesus, even within our own lives, help us, God, in this place. Amen. That we do not fear man or we don't reverence or esteem man higher than we esteem God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in this place. My God. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So this fear, this fear, this fear. I want to start us here, um, people of God. Amen. My God. Um, Hebrews 4, chapter 4, verse 1. It said, Therefore, since a promise remained of entering his rest, let us fear, lest any of you seem to have come short of it for indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them but the word which they heard did not profit them not being mixed with their faith in those who heard it for we who have believed do enter the rest as he has said so I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So, here in the text, we see that there is a warning, a warning to the people that is direct and forceful for lest you should come short of God's rest. What is God's rest? What is the rest that God offers for you and 
for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the God. <laughs> for surely God has been a man, glory to God, um, actively working on our behalf since the beginning. So here it talks about this rest, and then we're going to get over into the importance. It's important. So the rest, Hebrew 4, 4 and 4 through 9. It said, For he has spoken in a certain place on the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day for all his work, and again in this place they shall not enter my rest. Since therefore it remains that some may enter it, and those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of their disobedience. Again, he designated a certain day, saying to David, Today, after such a long time as it has been said. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As it has been said. Today, if you would hear his voice, do not harden your heart. For. If Joshua had given them rest, then he would not after have spoken of another day. There remains, therefore, a rest for the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, rest does not mean inactivity. As 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 we see, amen, glory to God, that God has not been inactive since creation. He is very, very active in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As he's been administrating um, the, the work of salvation among mankind. Amen. Jesus spoke in John 5 and 17, but Jesus answered them, My father has been working until now, and I have been working. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Um, have been working. Therefore, hallelujah, as it's talking about this rest for believers, it do, it's not talking about a place or of inactivity or uh, it, it it does not mean uh, um amen glory to god a place where we are not active it doesn't mean that we sit around we lie around and 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 and, and we relax and just do whatever it is that we want no it does not mean that it doesn't mean that we are free from our responsibilities and obligations from the lord it is far more greater. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. There is the rest of satisfaction and pleasure with one's life in work. This has been seen in God's breast. Amen. Hallelujah. Throughout creation now or after the creation, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. When God rested on the seventh day from his work, he took pleasure. He took pleasure. He took pleasure in what he had created. Amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. So after he created he, and, and he rested on the seventh day, he took pleasure. He didn't stop. All activities after creation. No, he did not. He has been working on our behalf since then. Hallelujah. He's been working out the salvation. He's been, my God, hallelujah. He's been diligently seeking after you and seeking after me. And I bless the name of Jesus that he don't sleep or slumber. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I, I just bless his name because it could have been in a moment of the sleeping of the, if he would, if he slept and slumbered. It could have been in those times and those moments where at any one of those that my life could have been taken. But because he does not sleep and slumber, my God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. He's always counteracting and working out things on our behalf so that we can be saved, so our souls can be saved, my God, in the Lord, so that we can spend eternity with him. Oh, I, I, I bless his name, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, my God. God has been looking after his creation, hallelujah, since. Amen. The beginning. 
since the beginning, my God. And, and, and again, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that, that he would have continued. He's continuously seeked me out. Amen. I'm grateful that he continually to seek you out. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that we, 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 hallelujah, may enter into his rest. But in the seeking of him out, people of God, there is some thing. I mean, the seeking him seeking us out. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. That's why I said today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Our hearts have to be open. God is consistently seeking out mankind. He's consistently working on our behalf. He's consistently speaking, hallelujah, so that we may be drawn unto him. He's continuously, amen, glory to God, showing his love unto us. My God, by continuing to preserve us and keep us, even when we didn't have a thought about him, my God, in the name of Jesus, when some of us should have been dead and gone, God blocked it. God blocked it. God stopped it. My God, God stopped it. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. God stopped it. <laughs> and so he's been active since the day of, after he finished creation, very active in the lives of his creation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, even when it deals with God, resting is to, amen, in, in a sense of completion and satisfaction with what he had done. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God rested in his soul. Hallelujah. You know, uh, glory to God. And so, I'm going to give you an example. So, like for me, I'm just an analytical and I overthink it. And, um, oh, Lord, Jesus, just help me in that area. Amen. Glory to God. And so, God... Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, when he created, he spoke it, he said it, it was done. And, you know, and he did it proportionately and it's given time and days and time reference and things of that nature. And, um, but when he was finished, that was it. Now, I, I'm, I, because God is creative, right? I, I'm creative, right? We all are creative, um, amen, in our own rights, in our own place, in our own space, right? And so I do I do um, web design. I do graphic design, right? And so, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. Now, when I'm just doing it in my own, in, in, on my own, on my own, I am, I, I'm always, I'll do something, I I don't like that. And then I'll redo it again and and I I'm not rested in my soul. I'm not rested with my beings with what I've created. I you know, and 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 and, and then it begins to consume my thought and it consumes my time and all this other stuff. But when the spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he's breathing on me and he's resting. I'm I'm resting in him. Amen. Glory to God. I'm resting in him. Hallelujah. Thank you. I can I can create. Amen. Glory to God. And I can look and I'll be like, man, how I don't, I don't even I don't give myself no credit. I'll be like, man, Holy Spirit, you did that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And there, there I, 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 I'm, I'm, I have peace within. I'm settled within. Amen. Glory to God. I'm completely satisfied with the work that, that have been done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And, 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 it, and it brings a sense of fulfillment, right, in my life. Glory to God, and we're going to get on this fear. Amen, glory to God, and but we're just building the case right now. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. And so, I, I, I'm I, I'm satisfied. And, and so, that's what God, when God finished creation, and on that seventh day, he was just so satisfied. You know, when God created, that was nothing that he created doing creation that he did a redo on. <laughs> My God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. He, he didn't go do a redo, he didn't go do a rework, um, amen, glory to God. He 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 created and he it, it, it was, he created and it was so, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, um, hallelujah. Now, I, I was talking about, you know, how, especially when I'm doing it in my own strength or whatever and how... I'll, I'll do it and I'll redo it and I'll do it and I'll redo it again and things of that nature. So let's talk about why, why the redo? 
why sometimes we go with the redo or, 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 or we overthink things, we're overanalyzing and things of that nature. Why? Because there's some fear there, right? Sometimes, sometimes that is done out of, amen, glory to God, fears that have generated in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we're dealing with this fear of God. Fear of God. Fear of God. Now, first I want want us to understand, because we're going to get ready to talk about different fears. But we want to understand, as I told, the only fear that we should have, I mentioned already, is the fear of God and God alone. Amen. So many places and words in the text um, let us know that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. It is the beginning of wisdom. And people of God, I am going to get a little scholarly on today. Just a little bit. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Just, just, just a little bit with us. Because I want us to really understand this word fear. The fear of of God is the beginning of wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding according to Job 28 and 28. So back to my point on this fear, amen, glory to God, and how sometimes we overthink, we overanalyze things, or we continue to redo things because of some form of fear that's on the inside of us. Usually, amen, glory to God, usually my first thought um, sometimes, amen, glory to God, um, you know, and especially when I just didn't know what was really going on, it's like, are people going to like this? Is is it going to, amen, glory to God, do do people like, is going to like what I've created, right? Um, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. Even though I'm very creative and what I create is, you know, it it, 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 it looks nice, amen, and I, and I, I bless God. Um, for that, but amen, glory to God. And so that fear of if people are gonna like it, it'll cause you to 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 to, to um to to redo it, amen. Or it'll cause you not to do it at all. Hallelujah. I was talking about my design. Um, you know what have me to redo it. Let me redo it, amen, glory to God, because they may not like that. So let me redo it another way, something that may be a pleasing to them, amen, glory to God. Um, and so, so that fear will cause you to do that. So let's walk in another lane of fear. Fear will also cause you, amen, glory to God, that you can, God can give you an idea or God can give um, you something, an assignment to do, right? And you won't operate in the assignment because there's a fear there. There's a fear of, of man, you know, it's, it's, it, uh, are people are going to, uh, partake in in the assignment where the people are going to come from I, I don't think that people um is going to um to be a part of of, of this amen and, and I don't want to do something and and nobody be a part of it and so that's a fear that's rejection that's being there or you may be afraid or fear may show up and well who's going to believe me you know kind of like Moses uh, um that this is what God has called for for me to do who's going to go with me who's going to follow me you know those type of fears and they will keep us from moving in the things of God or the fear of of, of these other fears where we want to be or fears or forms of fears where we want to be pleasing unto people and we regard people higher than we regard the word of God where they're not going to accept me in this or accept this call of my life or they want they're not going to believe that the, the call that God has upon me or the work that God has assigned unto me so I'm not going to do it because it's not going to be pleasing to them amen or I'm not going to say it because what God has placed in me because it's not going to be pleasing to them and I don't want to be offensive to them even though when I'm disobedient I rebel against God I'm offensive unto him but amen we're just dealing with these fears and uh, my God and sometimes we have these fears of going into unknown places or charting into unknown territory amen because it's unfamiliar unto us and it keeps us from moving in the word of god amen we're dealing with fears and the hindrance different forms of fears that hinder us amen for being wise in god we're talking about the importance and we're gonna hallelujah glory to god we're gonna deal with these fears 
hallelujah, appropriately, because I'm telling you, people of God, we got to, amen, overcome every fear that we have. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The only fear that we should have is the fear of God. And amen, we're going to deal with with this amen hallelujah because we surely want to enter into his rest when we have the fear of god we can enter into his rest the peace of god amen hallelujah glory to god it overcomes us amen hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god the power of god when we enter into the rest of god we are operating living moving in a place where there is no limitations glory to god we are not bound fear bound us it grips us it chokes the life out of us it chokes the word of god from out of us it causes us to abort abort or suffocate the truth amen or miscarry the truth of god's word and it is surely a hindrance to our walk and to our growth and development we have fear we fear pain we fear death we fear being ridiculed and fear being mocked and fear being of being disappointed and fear of, of death and just all these forms of fears but that it all is very unhealthy to the soul of mankind it's unhealthy to our walk and the purpose in which god has called unto us god didn't give us a spirit of fear but one of power love and a sound mind and this is people of god hallelujah thank you jesus so we gotta stop amen um we have to stop allowing fear to come into our territory and rule and reign amen the word told us told us in job 28 and 28 the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding. So let's let's deal with this word fear. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Fear. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 7. It said, by faith, Noah being warned of God, of things that seem as yet moved with fear, prepared and ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith i want to read it to you in another version that was king james hallelujah niv says this by faith noah when warned about Things not yet seen in holy fear built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. The NLT, it was by the faith that Noah built an ark to save his his family from the flood. He obeyed God who warned him about something that had never happened before. By his faith, he condemned the rest of the world and was made right in the sight of God. So I'm going to deal with, let's deal with fear here for a moment. Amen. Fear, holy fear. Amen. It, it means the only this is the only fear we should have to reverence, to obey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It, it has a mindset. My God. Hallelujah. When we look at the text, to be diligent in taking the word of God, to act upon what God says to take heed to the word of God unless one falls under judgment to stand in awe of God and of his warning my God in no time 
The world was very wicked and it was filled with corruption and violence and it grieved the heart of God that he had even made man. Because man, amen, they had reached the point of, of pure corruption. That they did everything imaginable in their heart and they would not turn back unto God. And they would not, meaning they would not repent. And so it left God without a choice but to destroy the earth. But there was one, there was one, there was one in the earth. I just need a remnant, hallelujah, um, who obeyed God, and it was Noah. Noah worshipped and honored God with his life. He had a fear, a reverence of God. And so, because of his fear and his reverence of God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, he honored God with his life. Amen. So we should honor God with our life. When we fear God, we should honor God with our life, with our lifestyle. And so God warned this Noah about what was to come. And when he heard God speaking to him, he took heed to the warning of God. We know that this Noah, he, he went and he prepared an ark that saved him and his family. We know that this Noah, he went throughout the, he went preaching and teaching, amen, glory to God, uh, 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 the, the repentance and the judgment of God. And, and nobody had an ear to hear. They hearkened their heart. And because they hearkened their heart, or they hardened, I'm sorry, they hardened their heart, they wasn't able to enter into the rest. So I'm going to talk. Just briefly, and I'm glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. That I'm, I'm going to deal with, and we're still with fear. But I want us to understand from the Greek standpoint about this word fear. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so I want to break down this word fear as as it is spoken of in the in 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 the Greek grammar. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. First, we have to understand, people of God, that fear is the part of speech that it is in Greek. It is a verb, right? And so what that means is that it is an action word. So it is something that is acted out. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, from um, from from that, amen, glory to God, um, hallelujah, um, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. When you're dealing with uh, words and definitely verbs in the Greek um, language, there is a, a parsing of that that verb or a breakdown the way that verb is broken down, and it is broken down by the 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 first of all the um um the mood, the tense, the voice, amen, the case, the, the gender, amen, the, the number, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to talk about some of those so that we can get a better understanding of what this fear of God really means and how we are to move and operate when it comes to the fear of God, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, um, glory to God. So again, it is the, the part of speech that fear is, it's a verb and it's something that we should act upon. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I, I, I want to uh, advise us today that in this, amen, in this verb, glory to God, the tense of this verb. Now, when you deal with the tense of a word, amen. Uh, a tense in um, of a word is is very critical in 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 the way that we study or exegete the text of God's word. As the t tense deals with, or it tells us the time, it gives us the time or the time reference of this particular verb. In addition to the kind of action that this verb is doing. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, um, in, in ancient Greek, in ancient Greek, um, um, the verb, um, heavily focused on the kind of action that is being 
um, taking on, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, in the context of the word, amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. And so th th there are several, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, kind of actions that could take place but i i want to deal with the action that is taking place amen glory to god under this particular word fear the tense it is um heuristic in 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 an heuristic tense um glory to god it is described as something that is indefinitely and it is an it is something and as far as timing it is indefinite it is indefinite Amen. Glory to God. Hear that again. It is indefinitely. Amen. That means that it is always to take place. It is to always take place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My God. And, amen, it is undefined or it is undefined in its actions. Because it is a aristic tense, um, they, they uh, amen, glory to God, um, some try to denote that it is, it's, it's not a tense at all because of, amen, um, glory to God, the way that it operates, amen, because, glory to God, it is something that is indefinite or an undefined and so here it is something that is indefinite amen it is indefinite it is something that we must always do every with every breath that we take people of god we are to fear god there should be a holy fear or reverence or reverence amen hallelujah of God in our very lives. And we're going to understand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My God. Um, um, the importance. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My God. And so, amen. So throughout our lives, that fear should be there amen so now we understand that the tense this it is an aristic tense hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god it also speaks in the tone amen glory to god thank you jesus of a voice a voice amen and the voice that is here it is a passive voice it speaks in the passive voice or the passive tone. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But this, it is a passive um, definite. Amen. Glory to God. And so what that mean? What does this mean? Amen. Glory to God. It means that, amen, it, it is the, a, a, a middle form, but in the middle form, people of God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. What it is saying here, not only does the subject act upon, Noah act upon it, right? Noah acted upon the word of God, hallelujah, that, that as God spoke the warning unto him, Noah acted upon it, and because he acted upon it, he benefited from it. Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. He acted upon it. So it means that, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. The subject acted upon it and also it benefits. It benefits from, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, the action that it took. Amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. And so Noah, amen, um, his family was able to be saved. His whole household, amen, he prepared that ark and his whole household was saved, amen. So I, I, I hope this is painting a picture of why it's important to fear God. What the importance to fear God, you know, not only was, excuse me, his whole household was able to be saved, amen. Glory to God, thank you, Jesus. He became the heir of righteousness, which is by faith and his family was the ones that repopulated the earth because he feared God. He had a reverence unto a holy God that his households were saved and he was able to be used by God 
to repopulate the earth. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. And so how does that translate into us people of God? Because this is what it, it, it comes down to. Amen. How does this translate into our lives, people of God? That we have to be those that fear God. And so we see and we've heard the fear of God is a continuous action. And because it's a continuous action, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. This continuous action involves, when we fear God, it involves obeying God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So it involves being obedient into what God has spoken and what God has said. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. And so where is our obedience in the Lord? Our obedience shows, hallelujah, the reverence. Our level of obedience shows the reverence that we have in God. Here in the Hebrews chapter 4, amen, glory to God, and 5, we see that many, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that the believers, my God, he said, look, they did not enter my rest. Amen. Many didn't, and many of us are living now, we're not entering into the, we haven't entered into the rest of God. Why? Because when we enter into God's rest, we'll have peace. We'll be obedient unto God. And out of our obedience unto God, we will be able, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, um, hallelujah. Out of our obedience unto the Lord, um, we will be able to dwell in, amen, the benefits of the kingdom of God, which we know peace is one of them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We know, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, that text tells us, that those who fear God will have no lack. Have no lack. Amen. Um, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And here in the text, it said in, in chapter 6 and 4, it says, Since therefore it remains that some must enter it and those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of their disobedience the disobedience hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god and he said and he designated a certain day saying it to david today after such a long time as it has been said today if you will hear his voice do not harden your heart today people of god if we hear his voice do not Harden our hearts. Let us become obedient to the word of God. For those that have heard God's word and, and we're being, we're in a place of disobedience. Amen. Th this is what I want. I thank you, Holy Ghost. We're in a place of disobedience because we're operating in the wrong form of fear. Let us repent before God. And let us bring our reverence to God. So I, I wanted to deal with this briefly because I, I, I really want us to understand how we really operate in this thing called fear. So let's say this. So you know how we operate. You, you know, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. Now, you know when we go to church, amen, or glory to God, you you around preachers or you know those that minister the gospel of truth and things of that nature you know you govern your behavior you govern your behavior right so you reverence them you reverence them you reverence them you govern your behavior you don't you ain't cussing you you know what i'm saying you ain't acting um in the ways of the world and things of that nature you ain't cussing uh, fighting and and fussing and 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 all those type of things. You ain't I'm um, doing things that that um that you'll get rebuked by, right? <laughs> um, Amen. Glory to God. Now, that's that's reverence. That's that's esteem. Now, Amen. But when we're not around, uh, in the church or when we are not um around individuals who preach and teach the gospel of truth. 
a, a who that we're honoring their title because of what God has given unto them. Um, but when we're not around them, we are cussing, fussing, fornicating, doing all type of things, lying, cheating, stealing, just all type of things. Now, this just shows you how much we reverence things and the world more than we reverence God, right? Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm painting the picture right here. Um, amen. So, um, we were in the church, we're in the building, we're in the house of God. I mean, we show so much reverence and so much respect for the most part. It, it is getting a whole lot looser now. Um, help us, Jesus, in the name of the Lord. Uh, but, amen. Um, <laughs> hallelujah. Uh, help us, Jesus. And, but, when, we're, when we are not around those who, or we're not in the house of God, or we're not in those, uh, in, in the presence of those leaders, you know, we're doing all type of things. But do we not know? Do we not know? Do we not understand that God is with us 24-7? God is with us 24-7. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And it's utterly amazing that it's okay that we are good with um, doing all type of things before God. But when we get before man, amen, where our behavior can change. So that let us know that we have the capacity to live right. We have the capacity on the inside of us to not operate in the works of the flesh. We have that capacity. Because if we can alter it, when we are in specific places or around certain people, guess what? You have the capacity to operate that way 24-7. It's all in your yielding. It's all in your yielding. Amen, glory to God. It's all in your yielding. But it's amazing that we yield or we reverence people and places and things more than we reverence God because we'll change our behavior and and and, and we'll amen God and we'll act as if we're righteous in these certain places and among around certain people but in the presence of God whatever we do whatever we choose or want to do help us in this place it's time for yeah called up I say it's time for divine alignment. It's time for divine alignment, people of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. That we're not picking up and operating in the word when we desire to. It said the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. My God, it is the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, people of God and to depart from evil is understanding and we got to get some understanding amen that's why we got to understand God is with us always he's with us always and so we reverence what we see more we got to come and reverence him with our lifestyle 24 7 because the capacity is there the capacity is there. But when we think nobody is looking or amen, glory to God, hallelujah, we do. We do what what we desire to do out of our flesh. But God sees because he's right there with you. Every act that you do, every wrong word that you say, it is done right in his presence. Where's the reverence and the fear of God? So that's one place. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. No, I say it and I say it in much love. I say it. I say it out of love, people of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because we got to point these things out. We got to point these things out because if we don't point them out, then how will, how will we know the way? Hallelujah. Thank we got to fear God the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Here is another place. Here is another place. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God speaks to us. He give us direct instructions. Hallelujah. 
or he he give us direct instructions on an assignment. He he, he place you on assignment. Amen. He 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 called you for a purpose and things of that nature. And we just disobey God. We resist him. We fight him tooth and nails every step of the way. Even though we say, God, use me. God, I want to be used by you. Uh, God, uh, God, I just want to please you and all this other stuff. But we're fighting the call. We're fighting a purpose. We refuse to step out and do the things in which God has called forth in our life. But let the pastor call or let a leader call or let the job call or whatever. And they give you an assignment to do. You own it. Where's the reverence? What do you reverence more? Who do you reverence more? Amen. Who do you fear more? It is shown in our actions, people of God. But when it comes to being obedient to God and what God has said, I ain't got time for that. I couldn't put it in my schedule and all this other thing. Uh, Help us, Holy Ghost, in this place in the name of Jesus. Because we got to come into a divine alignment. We got to come into a place of divine alignment where amen glory to god 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 place us on assignment we ain't moving in it we ain't gonna do it amen glory to god thank you jesus because we're operating all these fears we want to please man our desire to please man amen it hinder us from walking in the obedience in god's word and because we're trying to please man that means we have extinct esteemed them over god your reverence for man is higher than God. If you're operating in a place and in a space, number one, where you're, ha- you ha- you're not being obedient to the word that God has given unto you. Whatever is hindering you from moving and doing what God has said, you have esteemed that thing higher than God. You have esteemed it higher than God. And even when people have told you no, when, when you know God has spoken to you and, and, and you've mentioned to other people, amen, word of God, and they've rejected the word that God has given unto you about you and you shut down, you have esteemed them higher than God. You've seen them higher. When God give you a word to, to, to prophesy to somebody or speak to somebody or even a preach word that ain't going to be favorable to people, amen, it ain't gonna be favorable to man, and, and you don't do it, and you esteem the, the people higher than you esteem God, my God, in the name of Jesus, we see in the book of uh, Samuel, first Samuel, um, Saul lost the kingdom, Saul lost the kingdom, amen, glory to God, um, first Samuel 15, 15 amen he feared the people because he feared the people he aborted the assignment he didn't do follow through with what god had said unto him and when he didn't do that hallelujah he um oh my god um he aborted his assignment because he feared man and this that very act of fearing man or reverencing man higher than god Caused God to reject Saul and strip the kingdom away from him. At that moment in time, yes, God did not take him from his position, but God removed his power from him. Saul became a powerless king for the rest of his days. A powerless king. For the rest of his days. Because. He. My God. He reverenced man. More. Than he reverenced the Lord. How many out there. Are not completing your assignment. Has. Have not started or. Have half done. What God has called for for you to do. Because your reverence of man. Has been esteemed higher than your reverence of God. We see that Noah got the word. And he did. And he obeyed what thus says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Glory to God. Showing that he feared God. Showing that he feared the Lord. 
where is your reverence unto the Lord? It is out of your reverence on on to the Lord, people of God, that you're going to be saved. That you're going to have the peace of God to be bestowed upon you. That you will live and operate in a place where there is no lack. Psalms 128 says this, Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of, of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the the Lord. The man is blessed who fears the Lord. Amen. He said who walk in his ways. The walk in the way of the Lord. Walk in the commands, the statue, and surely the purpose that is called forth in your life. I love it. He said, you shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. Glory to God. Those who fear the Lord, they go and do. Noah went and built that ark. Hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so his family was saved. And they was very able to be used by God to populate the earth. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What fruit shall you eat from the labor of your hand? Or are you barren? Because you reject the word of God and you're not moving in the word of God and you're eating your tears. Like David said, My God, hallelujah. He said, uh, My God. He said, I, I've eaten my tears. And I'm paraphrasing here. Amen. Glory to God. He said, I've eaten my tears. And he said, I'm hungry. I'm in agony from starvation. Because I'm eating my tears and I've not partaken in the word. Because when I partake in the word, my God, hallelujah, I'm satisfied. I'm blessed. My God, in the name of Jesus, I am without lack. Why? Because in the word is prosperity. In the word is the supply of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's, it's, it's the, the resources of God is in the word. First Samuel 12 and 14 said this. If you will fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against the commandment of the Lord. And if you, if both you and the king will reign, who reign over you, will follow the Lord, it will be well with you. It will be well with your soul. You'll be able to rest with God. And even when the trials and the tribulations and things of life come at you, towards you, amen, glory to God, guess what? You'll have no fear. Guess what? You will be at peace in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the confusion. Hallelujah, glory to God. You will be absolutely unstoppable because you would have nothing entangling you, choking the very word of God out of you in the name of Jesus, glory to God. And so, people of God, we got to have a continuous, it got to be continuous. It's not, amen, a, 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 a true reverence, a true reverence, a true reverence, a true reverence, my God. It is not situational. A true reverence. It's not done out of, it's not moved out of fear, but it's done out of love. Amen. Let me make sure I mention that. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Reverence. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You're not acting upon what God is saying out of fear. Because we've seen Israel many of times and this is why they went back and forth out of exile back and forth 
out of exile is because their fear was birthed birth out of judgment or their reverence to God or they're willing to obey God. Let me say it this way. They're willing to obey God was birthed out of their fear of being under the judgment of God. But when our reverence, amen, or our obedience to God come from a place of love, that means it's not situational. That keeps us in a continuous state. Remember, we just dealt with the Greek, how it is broken down in the in, in the um in this tense form. It's a continuous state. It's something that happens indefinitely. We don't move from that position. And that can only happen when it is birth when reverence is birthed out of the love of God. When reverence is birthed out of the love of God. And so that means it's not situ situational. That means that, my God, it is pure. Amen. It is no motives. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It has nothing. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, to do with, with, with what God will do. But it has all to do with who God is. All to do with who God is. And it position and, prost and, and posture us in a place. Where we truly trust God with all our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Because when we reverence God from that place of love, we trust everything that he say. And we're obedient to his word in spite of who like it, who don't like it, who with us, amen, or whatever. Because the truth of the matter is, if God is for you, who can stand against you? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So let us begin to develop. Amen. A true reverence for God because it's important, amen, for our destiny. It's important, amen, glory to God, even for the lives of those that God has attached to us, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus. There's so much to talk about and deal with, amen, glory to God, but most importantly, people of God, I want to make sure that we leave here knowing today. Glory to God that if there's places in our life that we're fear of people, places, if there's our reverence in, in those areas are much higher than it is of God, let's repent and turn our hearts back to the Father. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And 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 amen. And and love him enough that we esteem him higher than everything. Not in just our words but in our actions and our deeds. And because we esteem him higher, because we reverence him, we're willing to obey him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We're willing to be diligent in the call and in the work that he has called forth in us, in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Um, amen. We're diligent and we, we're acting. We're in a place of action. Amen. Glory to God. When it when he says, when he release a word into our lives in Jesus' name. With that being said, people of God, I'm going to open up this line right here for God's people. Amen, amen, and amen. The line is open, people of God. For today, in the love, joy, peace, favor, and the anointing of our most holy Savior, who is none other than Jesus Christ. And it is in his most holy and majestic name that we've convened in intercession. And we have been empowered. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You guys have an amazing day. Love each and every last one of you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen.